My fellow conservatives, as you know, our country is in trouble and is facing more trouble. As the left now controls all three branches of government, as they plan on fundamentally changing America. We know the left never accepted the results of the 216 election, as they did everything possible, legal and illegal, to try and not allow Trump to do his job, and that's to make America great again. But he did it anyway, working amazingly long hours, 24-7. We also know the demos cheated in the last election, but they were able to do it because the Republicans in Congress and in the Senate allowed the Democrats to change and abuse our election laws. The truth is that the Demos have been winning because they play hardball, while our Republican leaders, except Trump, play softball and never hold the Democrats accountable for their violations of the law. I won't bore you with all the examples, as there are too many, but there was a reason that Trump nicknamed his opponent Crooked Hillary. We will only get our country back and win future elections by preventing voter fraud in the future. And that can only be done by requiring voter ID. Now, that's not a racist requirement. As we all know, you can't do anything in America without an ID. And who the hell does not have an ID? Give me a break. It's just more proof that the demos will do anything to get votes and will always call you a racist if you don't agree with their ideology in any way. Our founders never intended or wanted just one party to control all three branches of government, as the whole point of having three branches of government was to have a checks and balances system of government. We now just have one political party controlling government, and with a political ideology, socialism, that at least half the country does not support, actually the majority of Americans do not support socialism, and there's so many of them that have been taken by the propaganda that don't understand what socialism is, and we need to educate them. Now, I admit, I do not like Joe Biden or Camelia Harris because I don't like their political ideologies. I don't care about their personalities. My biggest question is, who will the Democrats blame now that Trump is out of office? I suppose just like Obama blamed all his problems on Bush, I'm sure Biden's going to blame any problems he has on Trump. Now, the Democrats now have the audacity to claim that they want unity as they impeach Trump again, just to make sure we don't have the right to elect Trump again in 2024. That's so wrong and un-American. Now, is Biden my president? Yes. Why? Because I'm an American, and I refuse to act like those wacko demos who claim that Trump wasn't their president for the last four years. Do I think Biden will be a good president? No because I don't think he has the mental capacity. Do I wish for his failure? No. Why? Because I'm an American. I don't want to see America fail. Do I wish death upon Biden just because I don't like him? No. Again, I'm not like those stupid wacko demos who prayed for Trump's death for the last four years just because they didn't like him. And their hatred started before he did anything in office, so they lie when they say they hate him for the evil things he has done. I still don't know what evil things he's done that they hate. His theme, Make America Great Again, was a genius move. I guess that made them angry. Now, I often imagine how they would have loved Trump if he had came down those stairs and said he was running for president as a Democrat. That would have been funny to watch. And they would have loved him. Now, do I think Biden is being used as a pawn? Yes, without a doubt he is. I'll take bets that he won't be president for very long, as the demos plan to claim sooner or later that he's unfit due to mental instability. And Queen Demo Wacko Nancy Pelosi is going to make Camelia Harris, who just got 1% of the demo votes when she was running for president. Uh, and that was their, and he's, she's going to be our president, and that was their devious plan all along. They want socialism for America, even though they never admit it, but their actions will prove their desire and their intent. And let's not forget, she claimed Biden not only was a racist, but also a rapist too. I guess that doesn't matter anymore. But right now, I fear that the damage they're going to cause in our economy for the next four years. I fear for the small business owners. I fear for our health care. I fear we're going to have to pay a lot more for oil and gasoline. I fear the cost of living will escalate like never before. I fear our military readiness. 
I fear for the massive onslaught of countless illegal aliens being free to illegally cross our borders, which is going to help destroy our economy and take jobs away from legal Americans and bring in illegal drugs. I also fear with no border, it's going to enable more terrorists to enter and threaten America. Now, I hope and pray I'm wrong about the demo's intentions, because I want America to succeed and become great again forever. Now, demos want to stay in power forever by taking away our freedom of speech. And the social media companies are working with the Democrats to keep conservatives from getting the real news. Now, the fake media and fake newspapers' motivation can only be money, money, money. As drama and scandal, even if fake or exaggerated, attracts more viewers, which allows them to make more money. But I know a way to use a simple capitalistic principle to have countless Americans turn off the fake media and to listen to the real, honest, truthful news. We can do it if Trump will just do two things. One, if Trump will announce that he is dropping out of the Republican Party and is forming the Make America Great Party that he will lead. Two, he also needs to create a daily hourly TV show hosted by him called Trump's Make America Great Show. He can use the format of Hannity and Carlson shows to motivate conservatives to unite and to join the Make America Great Party. That show will have the biggest audience ever, as countless millions will enjoy watching Trump trash the demo's failures. The Trump show will make more money than imaginable, which will help finance and grow the Make America Great Party, and also help countless conservatives get elected to countless political offices. Trump will also get elected again in 2024, and he can help get countless new conservatives elected to countless political offices. It will be a joy watching the fake media news outlets lose so many viewers, and they are going to get crushed financially, and the Make America Great Again party will grow so big and so powerful that we will soon control all three branches of government. Thanks for your time, and I know we can do it, so tell your friends and family to encourage Trump to, you know, become the leader of the Make America Great Party and to have his own hourly TV show every night trashing the demos and, and how they're destroying this country. Y'all have a good day.